don't know about you, Reyna, but they're up rocks and all that. I didn't learn any of that when I was younger. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're so cute. Like, uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> they are really, really good. And honestly, the only dance that I knew when I was growing up was the Macarena. Yes. So, I don't know if that dates me a little bit, but 95. these kids are killing it. So another round of applause for bonus land. <laughs> Macarena. <laughs> Oh my God. So we just wanted to give you a little bit more background about just the Philippines and how um, well put together it is and our background of our country. So will, are you guys aware that Filipinos are the fourth largest and one of the fastest growing populations in Canada? Yes. Yeah, in, in 2016, it's estimated that there are over 800,000 Filipinos in all of Canada yeah. and right here in Toronto as well. The Philippines is an archipelago of 7,641 islands in the Western Pacific Ocean that occupies 300,000 square kilometers. Yeah, square kilometers. <laughs> I didn't see that. In 2015, the country's population was around 101 million people. Andame. <laughs> it is a beautiful country, which is obviously andaming magaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being biased, but <laughs> anyways, in 2015, the country's population was around. Oh yeah, I read this already. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it is a beautiful country full of too. beaches, delicious food, and so much more. You can go and visit one day. And absolutely, and as. As you might know, uh, the winners of the Miss Philippines Canada, Little Miss Philippines Canada, also have the opportunity to visit as well, so they get that background. So, as we wait for the Canada.